thought Smash was older. That's weird. It's oh. weird to think a lot of games of that genre, dude, they've been around for a fucking minute. Smash 64 around. is, like, mechanically a mess, though. Yeah. I would say they're, they're all... Can you? Wait, you can, you can press the R button and throw some of these things off the map. Remember you were like, uh... Yeah, I'll be real, I don't like playing the first one. Uh, I feel like it was cool, but... I've never owned a Nintendo console that much. Like, yeah. I've only had a Switch. So. Oh, rip your Switch. I yeah. Had. So it's just like, yeah, if I'm playing Smash, I'm like, I kind of want to play anything like, you know, GameCube era, like, oh, just because, like. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they just hadn't perfected the formula of, like, how that game should exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, not it's saying it's like bad, it's just like it was, it's like dated, that's all. Yeah. Not good for its time. I you said that. those guys while they were sleeping. It's not even like, like there are some games, that, I know we talk about this a lot, that are so dated they're just like straight unplayable. Yeah. Um, Battlefront 2 on the PS2. Only if my you're opinion. an elitist. No. Dude, it's so hard to play. Battlefront 2 on the 360, well, original Xbox, but backwards compatible. So, 360 or uh, Xbox One. That is super dope. I feel like we've become a little bit spoiled with the games. Like, I don't mind going back and playing the old games. Like, you forget. No, how there there are certain are. games yeah. that are on, and it's not even like a graphics thing. It's like a game. It's thing. like gameplay, like camera Damn angle, it. like how the controls feel. Like, yeah. Frame like rate for you. What? I'm not talking to you. Me. Uh, who? What? The one who's playing the game. Art? What did I do? <laughs> you died. Thanks. So what did you Didn't learn? Didn't realize. Um, I don't know. I can't think of really any. I would Shadow say Goldeneye is almost unplayable. I mean, and, uh, I, dude, I think every famous NPC I think game has a level of rose tinted glasses. I would say game on the most, 64, I yeah, I would say most shooters on the 64, yeah, especially I mean, Perfect Dark, because the game itself is like I feel visually like very dark. If the and N64 controller had motion control, I feel like that would be cooler though. I could see that being a good controller then, but the well, no, 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 no. you know what it is. Right? It's the it's, fucking yo, why does the shit split off, of right? It's, 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 it's the pro controller yeah. with the map. It's the it's the pro controller with the yeah, it is. Dude, the Pro Controller is like one of They're the best controllers I've ever, like, yes, yes I've, I, I've ever used. I think PS3 controller is up there. For me, it's like the 360, 360 or the Pro. 360 I, think I also love the GameCube the controller. Or the GameCube is too... I, I can't like, use the GameCube look controller. It, I no, I love the GameCube controller. It's there's, perfect. There's just so much going on with that controller, I'm like, no. The N64 is a classic. I fucking It's terrible. It's I had a terrible a, controller. I had a third party one that shaved off the two fins on the side. That controller gave me a blister, okay? Any controller that gives you a blister in the middle of your hand is bad. The Mario Party, though. Yeah, I know what it's from, but it's still the fact that the controller gave me a blister, and like that shouldn't happen from use of yeah. for using it in a game. You know I what mean, I'm saying? That was just a game mechanic, dude. If you did the same thing on a game, Would you have to you... spin the analog stick? Yeah, no. Wait. Anytime you have to spin the analog Wait. stick on the N64 controller, you're going to hurt your hand. Like, they used to sell gloves for the N64 <laughs> for that reason. Jesus. And we agree that the Nintendo 3DS is one of the worst. The regular sized one? The bossy one? I like the bigger one. It depends on if I'm using the the analog stick or the D-pad. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch! Get him. Why would you roll me closer, sir? I just don't get why every Nintendo controller has to have a gimmick. Why it can't be like? Something. It's really. Interesting, I was, uh, 
watching a video about why Nintendo hasn't put out a new F-Zero game since the GameCube, and the reason that they haven't done it is because, like, we don't feel like there's anything new we can add to this game that hasn't already been done. Like, but can't they just, like, update the graphics and make oh, it- Oh, shit! Like, fuck. Uh, yeah, they could, but, like, the, that's not something they are interested in doing. Like, but then what about, like, like they Mario Kart? Kart? What have they added that, in that? That'll probably be a Switch title. I know. Okay. And that's part of Mario's hypocrisy. Yeah. Like, Mario that, like, games they are shit like that, the same but, like, yeah. Especially the new Super Mario Bros. games, all, like, five of those games are the exact fucking same thing. Yeah. Just, uh, like, new skin, or, or, like, I a mean, new gimmick. Some new random dumb shit. You're probably about to piss a lot of people off with that. No, that's because actually. A lot of people bought those games. They're, yeah, I mean, but they're still all the fucking same. Yeah. Um. Like they could be good games, but it's just they're still the same. Yeah. Like at least the old Mario's, Mario Bros. One, Two, Three, and World, like all visually were different games, but all the new Super Mario Bros. games are the same. God damn it. I'm fucking over these sack people. Do you guys remember when McDonald's had McRibs? Uh, fucking N64s? N64s. I and do. You know, yeah, man. You could play, I totally yeah. do. Oh, that was that was the best. only time I played Mario 64 as a kid because I had a PS1. That was, that was the only time I ever played Banjo Kazooie as a kid. That's a good game. I think Banjo Kazooie is that was a great game. game. I think it's one of the few like collectible collectathon games that is still good. I agree with that statement. Like, a lot of them. That genre of game is just outdated as hell. What, just get gems, but 3D, yeah, 3D, uh, yeah. platformers. Platformers. Well, now yeah. it's like Tomb Raider and Uncharted, and that's really it. Yeah. But that's more like an action game with with platforming yeah. added in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of agree. Not, not, not in a bad way, but like... Alex loves Uncharted. No, like, yeah, I, man, I had a good time with Uncharted. As someone who, whose, like, favorite movie of all time is, what, is like, the Indiana Jones series. Is The Wizard. Like, <laughs> yeah, you said, you said Nintendo and Love in the same sentence. The Wizard has to be mentioned. Yeah. Oh, God. The Classic. Wizard. The Wizard. I've never seen What's that the movie. Wizard? Neither have I. Apparently, it's just a, it's just a, a two hour long ad for yeah. Nintendo. Oh, that's all it is. No, I think it's like a really good depressing movie, and they just play with Nintendo stuff. Yeah, I heard that the whole thing is just like a commercial for Nintendo, essentially, in the Power Glove. <laughs> that failed, right? Yeah, oh, that failed super hard. You never seen that? No, I've never seen it. Uh, I've never seen the Mario. It movie almost either. killed uh what's his name? Bob Fuck. Hoskins. Hoskins, that's it, yeah. But it almost killed Bob Hoskins. Why? The like some like scene they were filming, whatever, like something dangerous happened. I think he almost got like crushed by something or oh, whatever. Or, God damn. And uh yeah, he was just saying like in an interview about like how it was the worst fucking set he's ever been on. It's, one of the worst movies ever made. It's me, Mario. And he's a really good actor. That was, uh, yeah, he was the dude in who framed Roger Rabbit. Great Fucking the bird from the Looney Tunes. Like Tweety. Oh, okay. Damn it! Damn it! Yeah. Damn it! Like, I guess there's no way. Giving the other studio like their extra seconds of screen time. 
Because back then they were just like, no, fuck that. Dude, that's such a good movie. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, a masterpiece, masterpiece just for its special, special effects, effects, I think. Yeah. I saw that movie as a kid. I feel like that set me up to failure after that. I was like, everything animated is awesome. The first time I saw oh, that yeah, movie... Whenever that's on TV, I always watch it. You know, it's one of those movies. The first time I saw that movie, when the uh, bad guy at the end goes to like his... Yeah, oh yeah, my like, god, dude, that scared the <laughs> fuck out of me as a child. <laughs> that scared the shit. And his eyes you. get all like red and yellow. Oh my god, that was terrifying to me. Do you know, do you know what I there were more of? You know those kids movies that are like... They're made to be terrifying. But then you watch then them as an adult, you're like, oh, why was I scared of this? Like, did you see a lot of them? Mm. Like, you were talking about like, the yeah. Uh, like Goosebumps? That shit was kind of like that. To a degree. Like, it all kind of stopped in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. There was apparently this 90s kids show. I think it was called, like, Nothing Are You Afraid of the Dark or something? Yeah. Apparently, it was horrifying. Yeah. Like, it was, like, really fucking scary. What about, um, what's the one Never that everybody it. likes? Tales from the Crypt? That's yeah. That's an adult show. Goosebumps and Are You Afraid of the Dark were meant to be the kid version of Tales from the Crypt is cool, and I like that uh, he appears in Robot Chicken a lot. I wish uh, you're getting It's just a gen genuine concept. Yeah. I think they're comics yeah. that are like little like Twilight Zone. Like, uh, There's some like fucked up shit happening. But like, I can't do that. Damn it! Fuck! Like you've done it. Like you proved you can do it. But like. But then if he does that, like no, no, no. Like this, this section isn't meant to be come to for a while. Yeah. This is like a. It's not like it's not like a hugely high level section. But like the only reason I'm. Yo, speaking yeah. of hugely high, I would like some snacks. Yeah. I'm quite hungry. Yeah. <laughs> snacks um, would be snacks. good. I never had dinner. This guy told me apparently a uh, fucking lunch aide at his school when he went to fucking high school would always just shut down the snack line and people pissed him off. So, like, uh... Yeah, yeah that's some but ignorant shit. What he would do is like, if he'd be like, "All right, guys, like, you need to quiet down. Like, I gotta say something." And if no one nope. quieted down, he'd be like, "No snacks. That's it. No, no snacks. Cut them off. Done." And you'd say it just no like that. Snacks. No snacks. But he would say it like weird, like that. He'd be like, "No, no snacks. snacks." Like what? with a C, no like a S H. Almost said C H. Like the snack Nazi, then? No, no snacks. snacks. No snack. No snack for you. <laughs> 